connecting record on our meeting today. So um, I'm gonna have, I'm still working on getting them up. I should have them up um, either by the end of the day today or tomorrow. But each of these meetings, we're gonna have, especially the first portion where we go over the lesson, we're gonna have it available on your teacher's website. So you can click it and you can watch it, even if you were there and you wanna go over something again, you can click it and you can watch the recording, okay? So I'm getting all of that set up. I've got most of it kind of sorted out and then I'm gonna be putting it all, all the videos onto the websites. All right, so let me know if you have any questions about that. Your parents can email me too, but that gives you an option. Number one, if you wanna review something, you wanna go over it. And number two, if you miss something, all right? Maybe you guys have an appointment or you're off doing something else, you'll have that option to see it, okay? Ooh, look at you, Wesley. <laughs> you are styling over there. <laughs> um, all right, you guys, so let's see. We're going over people, and I have a question. When you are drawing people, I think people is one of the hardest things to draw. I think it's really challenging. So I wanna give you guys a lot of little tricks you can use, and we're gonna talk about it over the course of the trimester. We'll keep talking about it because if we do it all in one shot, we'll probably get really tired, right? So we're gonna do little bits throughout the trimester and we'll talk about drawing people. So my question is, what do you think when you're drawing people, what do you think is the toughest part? What do you find challenging? And you can raise your hand if you have something you wanna add. Uh, yes, Francesca. My challenging part is um, about the eyes. The eyes, good one. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? Yes, Wyatt. We'll do Wyatt, then we'll go over to Leif. My hard part is the heart. I'm not good at it because there's three hearts. There's one big one, there's one medium one, and there's one small one. Small ones get a little bit hard. That one's a fine. I'm trying to get the small one better inside there. Oh, I That's see. That's my hard part. And what, that was the heart? Did you say the heart? What was the? The heart. My heart. Oh, interesting. So when you're trying to draw the heart, that's really tough for you? Yeah, the little one's hard because there's yeah. one, one big one, one medium one, and one small one. Yeah, that's you're hard. right. That is tough. Absolutely. Thank you, Wyatt. Wow. <laughs> Let's see, a Leif. And we'll go to so Isabel. I I have the same as Francesca, but then it's also hard for me to draw the nose and the mouth. Nose and mouth, absolutely. So faces are a whole tough thing on their own, right? The face is super challenging. Thank you, Leif. Uh, let's go to Isabel. Well, my hard part is drawing the bones. The bones, absolutely. And the bones, the more we understand the bones, and I know you guys uh, work on the bones too in your classes, but the more we understand that, the more that we can make our drawings look realistic, huh? Thank you, Isabel, that's a really good one. Hi, how we doing? All right, let's see it. I'm not sure if you can hear me yet. Do we have Sully here? Now you do. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. I'm Veronica. I'm really happy to meet you. Um, so today what we are talking about is drawing people. And the question that I just asked everybody is, um, what do you think is something really challenging? What's some tough parts about drawing people for you? Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it open here. Does anybody else have anything that you would like to add about parts that are challenging? We said that the eyes are really challenging. We talked about the heart being super challenging. That's a really interesting one for me. Um, bones, nose, mouth. These are all super tough things when we're trying to draw people. Does anybody have anything else that you get stuck on? Uh, yes, Wyatt. On the ears. The ears, yeah, absolutely. The ears are pretty hard. Ears are pretty hard, I agree. I agree. All right. And then, um, Sully, I forgot to ask you, do you have, looks like you got a pencil. Do you have a um, sketchbook or some paper that you can draw with? I'll give you a second to grab it if you don't have it. Okay. And you can have either a sketchbook that's bound or you can have paper. All right. Thank you. 
All right. And then Leif, let's check with you. Yeah. It's also, it's also hard for me to draw the hands. The hands. I was going to mention that, actually, if nobody did. Yep. Hands are tough, too. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over a couple. Ooh, Olive. Yes, let's get Olive. What do you think? I think um, the clothes are pretty hard. Clothes, absolutely. I love that one because there's a lot of little tips I know with clothes that we can use that help us to make our drawings look more realistic. That's a really good one. Yep. Okay, thank you, Olive. So what I want to do today is um, we're going to take these kind of these different um, challenges that we all talked about and we're going to start to do some drawing together and you can do exactly what I'm doing. You can draw it with me or if you want to go a different direction and work on something else that you're still drawing a person. That's okay with me too. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing, um, but I would like to work on drawing people today and Isabel. Yes, I saw your hand up. Are we drawing like the inside of our body, which is the human body, or like just the skin part? Oh my goodness, you guys have such good questions. Um, so we're going to talk about the outside today, and we're even going to talk about clothes. All right, so for today, we're going to talk about the outside. We're going to talk about clothes. We're not going to oh, cover the heart and the bones necessarily, like draw them, but we will kind of talk about where our shoulders are, where our elbows are, that kind of stuff. Okay, because okay, I'm super good at drawing the body and clothes and just yeah. everything on the outside. Wonderful. Well, you're going to be in today. <laughs> awesome, Isabel. Thank you. Okay. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a blank page here so we can work together on a couple things. All right. So, whoops, I gotta keep my page that had what we were talking about. So eyes was one of the things that we mentioned, right? And I'm not sure if we'll be able to get to everything today, but we are gonna be working on people throughout the trimester. We'll do a few different sessions, okay? So don't worry if we don't get to everything today. Um, and then actually, you know what, too, pardon me one moment. I'm just going to grab my charger, too, because I just noticed that my computer is going to die soon. <laughs> so let me grab my charger really soon. One second. One, really quick, Eddie. Okay, I am back, you guys. I'm just gonna plug us in, so that way we don't have to worry about getting disconnected. There we go. Okay, now we're safe. <laughs> All right, so when we are talking about eyes, so eyes are really interesting, right? We have the eye, the shape of the eye. We have the top eyelid and the bottom eyelid, and then the center of the eye, right? And there's that black center, there's the color, and then you have the white of your eye. Yes, Molly? I know how to draw eyes. You do? Awesome. Well, then you're already ahead of the game, huh? <laughs> awesome. I'd love to see it if you want to work on one, Molly. Um, so I'm going to show you how I like to, to draw eyes, some little tricks that I think are nice, that are helpful when I draw eyes. And one of them, the first thing I usually draw is that top eyelid. So when I draw the top eyelid, you have the corner of the eye and it just kind of slopes up and over, right? Something like that. So you're just drawing a line that comes up and over. All of our eyes are a little different shape. So there's no right or wrong on this. It doesn't have to be perfect because everybody's eye has a little different shape on the eyelid, right? And then on the bottom, that bottom lid, it's usually a little flatter, but it's still a little bit rounded there too, right? So you can make that shape. Kind of looks like maybe like an almond, right? The shape of your eye. And they're all different, so we don't have to get frustrated. And another thing I wanna say on this too, drawing people for me is pretty challenging. 
So if you ever feel like you're frustrated or you're starting to get a little angry about it, just shake it off. You can start over and start a new one because when we're learning it, it's challenging. So it can be tough. Okay. So we have our shape and then within the shape of the eye, we're going to draw the center of the eye, that rounded part, right? So the rounded part, if you notice, you can see it on my eye. You usually can't see the whole circle right? It's cut off a little bit on that top lid. So I'll show you what I mean. Instead of drawing a full circle, I usually just draw the circle up until it gets to the eyelid. All right, so it's kind of flattened out on the top. All right, and if you're liking this and you're liking drawing this eye, stick with me. But if you're feeling like you wanna draw a different part of a person, that's okay with me too, okay? All right, so we have that. That's the, uh, the colored part of your eye, right? But on the inside, we have the dark part. So it's just another little circle, but it's on the inside. <laughs> I can see all your eyes really well too when we're looking at the at the page. Oh wow, nice Leif, look at that. Whoa, that looks amazing. All right, whoa, look at that, Sully. Cool. Yeah, you're going ahead of town. Already in the on the second one there. Nice. Good job. So on the inside, we're gonna go ahead and draw that dark center. So if you have a marker, you can fill it in. If you have a pencil, you can just take strokes back and forth and fill it in. I'm just making that center part look a little darker. Nice, wow, Molly, that looks great. You guys are doing awesome. These look so cool. So we have the dark center. Yep, very nice. Good, so this is where we can add a couple little extra details. We already, whoa, cool, look at that. Nice, Francesca. We already have the idea that this is an eye. If I looked at that, if I looked at one, I, good, Sully, thank you. If I looked at one of your pictures, then I would be pretty aware that that's an eye. But we could add a couple more details just to add some more information. So maybe if you look at the top of the lid, see how there's kind of another line up there above my eye? Yeah, <laughs> can you see it, Leif? <laughs> Try not to poke your eye though. <laughs> so if we, we're at the top of the eye, all right? And we have the top line and we have a bottom line, right? Are you doing all right there, Wesley? <laughs> oh man, you're on the move, I see. <laughs> good, Wesley, good. <laughs> all right, so if we have the top lid, we got the bottom lid then, if we add that top line, it's kind of the same shape, but we can give ourselves one more line on top, and that's just a little more detail, and that's that top eyelid. All right, don't worry. If you're getting tired of eyes, we're going to move on in just a second to our next subject here, but there's one more thing I thought we might want to add. We might want to add some eyelashes, right? Might want to add some eyelashes. Isabel, yes. I am never going to be able to draw the eye. Never. That's, okay, first of all, you know what? I bet we're going to work a little bit at a time, and I bet you by the end of the year we'll have it. <laughs> I bet we will. But I also don't want you to worry about it. We're going to finish this eye, and then we're going to go on to a different subject. And everybody... You don't have to do the eye. You don't have I to. do just my kind of eye. Just a you can do your kind of eye. Yeah, totally. You can do your kind of eye. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So this, with any of these, if it's frustrating or you're not really liking what we're working on, you can work on your own, okay? You can draw it the way you like to draw it. It's all good. All right? Okay, let's see if we can add a couple eyelashes on here. Just for fun. Maybe we throw some eyelashes. All right. And Isabel, don't you worry. You work on the eye the way that you want to work on it, okay? And these are just ideas if you want to add these into your drawings, okay? So don't worry, Isabel. You don't have to don't have to do it my way at all. Whoa, look at that, Molly. Really cool. I don't want to do it either. No worries. You know what? For Olive and Isabel and for all of you, 
we actually are going to work on another subject now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start a different drawing. So you don't have to work on that eye. If you have another way you like to do eyes, that's totally fine. All right, we're going to go ahead and work on another subject now. Okay, so another thing that somebody mentioned was clothes, right? Clothes, right? Yeah, so clothes, cool, Francesca, nice. All right, so clothes is another thing. Wow, Leif, look at that. That is beautiful. You did a really, really nice job. Thank you, Leif. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about clothes. We're gonna talk about something different. And while we shift gears, just go ahead and talk about a different subject. I want everybody to know that every single person, no matter who you are, no matter how wonderful an artist you are, every single person has certain things that are easier to draw and certain things that are harder to draw. Molly, that looks so cool. I love your bottom lashes too. <laughs> nice. All right, we all have certain things that are a little easier to draw, certain things that are harder to draw. I actually like to draw faces and draw people, but I have a little bit harder time drawing nature, drawing leaves and oceans and landscapes. And there's some artists that are a lot better at landscapes, but it's harder for them to draw people. All right. So we all have that. So every single one of us is gonna have certain things that are hard for us to do and hard for us to draw. All right, and that's okay. All right, so the next thing is clothes. So clothes, I actually wore a shirt that I thought would be helpful. Plus it was a little colder this morning. <laughs> but this shirt has a collar, right? And it has buttons on it. And then I also have sleeves. And when you have sleeves, if you bend something, like if you bend your elbow or your shoulder, there's little wrinkles that come onto the sleeve, right? So I'm gonna show you something that is another little tip that we have when we're working on drawing somebody with clothes on. So let's say that we had somebody with their arm like this, just like this shape. So if I have somebody with their arm like this, this is the shape, right? But you can't really tell that person has clothes on. But if I do the same shape, and I maybe do some of the wrinkles or the sleeve with the buttons, I can make it look way more realistic, right? So maybe I have it come out this way. And I have the elbow and there's some wrinkles in the clothes. Right? So right there, maybe you can see some wrinkles in the elbow. And then maybe at the top, you can see the cuff of the sleeve and a little button. All right, do you guys see that? So if that's somebody's arm and I can see the wrinkles in the clothes or I can see the cuff of the sleeve. Wow, Leif, I can't believe it. That looks so great. That is really, really great. You know what, Leif, when we finish, I really love to keep a picture of it. You want to send me a picture to email or something or even just hold it up for me in a minute. That would be awesome. Um, all right. Oh, cool. Olive, let me see. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that's exactly how those folds would go, right? They start at the elbow and they kind of flare out just like Olive did it there. And then, oops, Francesca, I lost yours. And Molly, yes, exactly. Very good. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. So we have our elbow, that elbow shape. And we're just doing different little, um, different little parts of the body. Yeah, there we go, Isabel. Nice. Um, and if you want to take these little parts and put it into a whole person, you can. Wesley, I know that it's really hard to draw in the car. <laughs> so don't feel like you have to draw. You can just listen along if you want, okay? And I've also got, um, I'm also gonna have this recording up too. Remember I pressed record on this one? So there'll be a recording up too if you wanna follow along with it to do the drawing later too, Wesley, okay? Uh, yes, Molly? Oops. All right, so we're doing close. We have the sleeve, that's one example. Now, another thing I wanted to talk to you about, let's say that we had a pair of pants. What kind of pants do you guys like to wear? Can you tell me any type of pants that you like to wear? Yes, Molly? I like to wear short pants. Short pants, okay. What about Wyatt?
Um, I'm done with my picture. Oh, you are? Let's see it. Hang on, uh, Francesca and Bertie, I'll be right to you. Oh, whoa, look at that. You got people and a whole scene already. Man, Wyatt, you are cruising. <laughs> You're working hard over there. I don't know why. I can't see the person's that good, so I'm going to make a metal one, and I'm going to use some yellow and some black. Oh, good. That sounds great. I think it'd be awesome. Thank you, Wyatt. Okay, All right. a new page. New page. Perfect. Uh, Francesca and then Birdie. Um, I like to wear jeans. Jeans. Okay, so we got shorts and jeans. What about Birdie? I like sweatpants. Sweatpants, okay. So we got shorts, jeans, and sweatpants. Those are all really, really good options because they show us different ways that we can do pants. So if we have pants, we usually start at somebody's waist, right? And then we have one pant leg and the other pant leg. So that would be a really simple way to draw pants, right? But let's do it again. And let's do, first we'll do some jeans. So let's say that we have the waistband because there's usually that extra piece of fabric right on the top. Whoa, Leif, you got a whole person coming in there. That is awesome. I love it. Okay, so we got a seam here with that waistband. And then usually there's the button, right? There's the button at the top. And then, oh, whoa, looks, Sully's got a whole person coming in too. <laughs> nice. I like it, thank you. All right, so then we have the legs coming down. And let's just say we got one leg here. And we have another leg here. But one thing that I notice when I look at people's jeans is that a lot of times at the bottom, if they're long jeans, they get a little bit bunched up at the bottom, right? There's those little kind of wrinkles in the fabric at the bottom. So if we have that, maybe we do a couple little wrinkles at the bottom and maybe there's a cuff at the bottom too, right? So maybe you got a couple little wrinkles at the bottom by the ankle. All right. So that helps me know that it's, that it's jeans. Oh, wow, Francesca, we got a whole person coming in already there too. You guys are working so hard. <laughs> nice. And Wesley, Wesley, wow, you're drawing in the car. Look at you. <laughs> That's great, thank you. All right, so then with the jeans too, there's another thing that I feel like is a really good detail that shows us that somebody's wearing jeans and that is the pockets. Woo, look at that, Molly. These are looking awesome. All right, so with jeans, we could draw some pockets. And those pockets help me to know that there's jeans because there's a lot of different pants that don't have pockets on them. Cool. Nice, look at that, Sully, I like it. <laughs> Good, so we've got a couple little details that are gonna show us if your character is wearing jeans. Maybe even in the, in the center where the zipper is, Oh, nice. I like your eyes, Isabel. So you do have your I own made my, I made my head too big. That's okay. You know what? That's a style. And a lot of cartoons and comics have a style like that where the head's really big. Even Disney, even Disney characters tend to have a big head too. <laughs> so that's okay. All right. And then one more thing for jeans. A lot of times you can see the zipper. You can see the zipper. There's that little piece of fabric where your zipper goes. So those are all, yeah, Molly already got it. <laughs> nice, nice. So Molly already thought of that in her head. So when you're starting to draw things, you know, and I'm giving you examples, but you can also just think of the jeans that you've seen. You can think of jeans that you have and you can, oh my goodness, Leif, this is just coming along so nicely. I love it. Look at that hair. You did a great job with your shading on the hair too. That looks gorgeous. All right, so we got our jeans. That's a pretty good starting place for jeans. I'm also gonna touch on the shorts and the um, sweatpants too. 
so that we have a little idea on those. So sweatpants, a lot of times, not all of them, but a lot of sweatpants have a drawstring, right? And there's that string that you pull it tight and then the fabric gets kind of bunched up. So if we have that in our pants, or it's just an elastic band, but either way, the seam or the, um, the waist, let's say the waist is like this, but the fabric gets kind of bunched up. So there's usually little lines right on the waist and then the pants come down. And a lot of sweatpants also have it bunched up at the bottom. Maybe there's a little bit of elastic at the bottom. So maybe you can see kind of the elastic around the ankles and then a little bit of the fabric kind of bunched up there at the bottom. All right, so if you're working on sweatpants, you're usually gonna see either a drawstring or an elastic waist on the waist and also on the ankles. Now maybe there's a little drawstring. You can make a little dot and have a couple little strings come down. And sometimes there's a little knot at the end, right? You can have that little tie. Whoa, look at that. We have a mushroom on your shirt, Sully. <laughs> nice. Whoops, I can't hear you. You can unmute yourself if you want. Yeah? It's not a mushroom. It's a what? skull. It's a what? A skull. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. I like your details. Very nice. Uh, Molly, let's see it. Um, so what I was actually thinking was like short pants. Short pants. We got that coming up next. Short pants. So short pants, Molly, what would you think? Um, would you like to draw short pants that are like jean shorts or different kind of shorts, like cotton shorts? What kind would you like to do? Kind of like exercising pants. Exercising pants. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. So with a lot of the exercising pants, they fit a little bit tighter, right? Whoa, man, Leif, that is just so cool. I love all the details you're adding on that. Um, so working out, when we're working out, we, a lot of times we don't have that much extra fabric. We'll wear something that's kind of tight, like a spandex material, right? It's kind of stretchy feeling for workout clothes. So that means if we draw workout pants, we have to think about the shape of the leg a little bit more because it's not covered up with that loose fabric. So let's try a pair of workout pants. Just one second. Let me catch Wyatt here. Yes, Wyatt? Again, then we'll make picture again. Oh my goodness, let's see it. It's Halloween time. Whoa. <laughs> look at my creepy hat and look at my I creepy hat. see it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You all are ready for Halloween, huh? Oh, yeah. What do you have up there at the top? Is that all? That's, my, that's the sun because it's coming up and I got some candy. Well, the Gotham is the Bean, so that's why I put in a little pocket right there. You see the little pocket? Oh, see. Yeah. See that? There's my little pocket right there, that little black spot. That's my oh. pocket. And, and oh, it's so filled up because I have a lot of room in there. And then I put some in some of my little pocket, and it has my boxes. And it was so full, so I need to get with my hands. And then I and so these little pockets on my shorts, and then I wanted to put it in there, and it was even more candy. I tasted it, and it was so good. I just wanted all of it. Just yeah. All of it. Oh. <laughs> all of it. Thank you, Wyatt. You are really working hard today. You already got two pictures. Let's see. I'm going to check with Francesca here, and then I'm going to check in with you guys across the board, make sure everyone's hanging tough here. I know this. These lessons can get a little long. Whoa, look at that, Francesca. Oh my gosh, you did skin color too. Wow. I think I'm going to make an animal next, and I think I'm going to um, It's I me. I'm in my undress going to my cousin's birthday party. Oh, I see. That's fun. <laughs> All right, let's see. Just a moment. Let me check. Isabel, how are you doing over there? Isabel, how are you doing over there? Good. Yeah, you doing all right? You guys have two stations, huh? Oh, it's pointing our corn dog at me. 
Oh no, maybe you could draw the corn dog then. You think? <laughs> All right, Isabel. Just want to make sure you're doing it right. Is getting some paint for me? Oh, okay. Okay. Just be careful if it's watercolor. That's a little easier setup. But just be careful if it's something that we need to put some paper down for. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's see, we got, let me go over to Olive. Olive, did you have something? Oh, wait, do you have a corn dog too? How many people have corn dogs? <laughs> let's see, it's corn dog day, I think. <laughs> All right, guys, so, <laughs> um, so we are gonna keep on going with a couple more drawings here, right? Now I want you to make sure if you, when we do these drawing lessons, for some of us, it's really easy to draw for the whole time. For others of us, sometimes we gotta get up or we gotta stretch a little bit, all right? So feel free to do that. If you need to get up, stretch your legs. I don't want you to feel like you're stuck, okay? Okay, so let's see. And then, Molly, <laughs> do you, are you, you're muted. Do you wanna be telling me something or are you, you all good? You all good? Okay. Okay, so we are going into our short pants at Molly's request here, and they are exercise pants, right? So exercise pants are a little tighter, which means that we're gonna think about what the shape of the leg looks like. So when you're looking at your leg, you have your knee, right? And then you have your top part of your leg, your thigh, and then your bottom part of your leg, you have your calf muscle, that muscle right underneath your knee. And it's really interesting, the more you learn about your bones and your muscles, all of that that you're learning about with your regular teacher, um, you actually will start to be able to draw a little bit more realistically too, when you think about all of those things. Okay, so when we think of our leg, I'm actually gonna turn it over, I think here. So when we think of our leg, if we start at the top, you have your thigh, we don't have to be super detailed with it, but you have your thigh and then you have your knee Right, you might show a little bit of your knee, and then you have your calf muscle, and it comes down into your ankle. Right, so it's not just a straight line, there's a couple little curves in it. Your knee and your calf muscle comes out a little bit before it gets thinner at the bottom for your ankle. All right. And this is kind of tough, I know it. So don't get frustrated if it feels like it's kind of tough. We can also just, um, you can also wait to the next example, okay? So remember, anything that's not working for you today, that's okay. Some things are harder for others than others. Um, well, yeah, exactly, Molly, very good. All right, so if you wanna try doing the other leg, you can, or you can just stick with one. But if you have the other leg, same thing, you have your knee, have your muscle, and your legs coming down and it gets a little bit thinner at the bottom. So you'd have two legs. Wow, nice Molly. Yep, very good. So with exercise pants, since it's that thin material, since it's that kind of tight material, usually there's not gonna be a zipper, usually there's not gonna be buttons for the most part, right? So all you really need to do is come up where the hips are, it's gonna go in a little bit where your waist is, and then you can draw the line on top. All right, and then you can also decide, maybe your pants stop in the middle of your, of your muscle. Yeah, exactly, Molly, good. So maybe your pants stop at the middle, like this, short pants like that, okay? Maybe they're a little bit higher up the leg. You can decide how long your pants are. And so this is just an example when the pants have a tight material, when it's not loose like jeans or sweatpants, when it's a little bit tighter, then you have to focus a little bit more on the shape of the body, on the shape of the legs. Now, this is a really helpful bit of information for if you're drawing superheroes, if you're drawing somebody that has a superhero outfit and you can see all the muscles, right? This is a good example for that. So that's the kind of idea you would use if you wanted to draw a superhero too. 
And then at the bottom, you can either have it go into their feet or maybe they have boots on or something like that. Now, a lot of these have a pattern on it. Maybe they're stripes or polka dots or something like that. So let's just see what it would look like if we did maybe some stripes. Maybe we have stripes going across. I'm making culture of Play-Doh. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Yeah. What kind of sculpture? What kind of sculpture are you making? Do you know yet? I'm making a puma. A puma. Whoa, that's so specific. I love it. Whoops. Got my pad I there. I really had help when I was going to make a puma with my mom in kindergarten, oh. but I think I can do it by myself now. All right. Excellent. I would love to see it and I'd also love to help you if you need any help with it too. I'm doing okay. tie-dye. You are, wow. We have some really cool projects going on over here. Leif, oh my goodness, I can't even believe it. Look at your bracelets and your detail, I mean, I'm sorry, your necklaces, and you have a pocket. Oh my goodness, look at all of that. That is just incredible, I love it. Uh, let's see, going over to Sully. How are we coming, Sully? Oh, wow. Not, is that, do I see holes in his jeans on his knees? Or this, is that something different? That's the pocket. Oh, I see. Cool. Nice. Sully, can I see it one more time? All right. Wow, you guys are cruising. I didn't think we were going to get through whole people for those of you guys who are doing. Oh, there we go. Cool. Molly. Nice. So this, the reason that I drew this was because I wanted to show you, especially when you do like exercise pants or something that tends to have a pattern on it, you can draw a pattern. You can do stripes. You can put some polka dots. Let me go over to Wyatt here. Yes, Wyatt? I think we know this one. And they want to make it sure again. You're, are you going to do another one, or do you think that's enough pictures for today? No, this is my last one. Your last one? Can I see no, the one? I'll give you a hint. It's something flying. It's something flying. Hmm. Anybody want to take a guess? What do you think that Wyatt drew for his last picture? It's a guess. I'm going to say a bird? Mm, nope, that's incorrect. Um, I choose Sally. Sally, come off me, please. <laughs> airplane. Sully, you are correct. What? Sully, how did you know? <laughs> he saw it. I did a little piece wow. of the line and you saw it. So I, I see. And he knows his mind. Okay. <laughs> nice. Hey, wow, look at that airplane, red and black, huh? What kind of airplane is that? Um. It's a miracle airplane. It makes you to America and and to different places. It goes anywhere you want, like America, goes like all this house or anything. Cool. Even my grandma's house. Even your grandma's house. Nice. I see. Last picture of the day. Good job. <laughs> well, I didn't know you can think about that. I get you to this. <laughs> All right, guys, you know what? I actually, we are coming to our last few minutes here and I want to check in with everybody and see how everybody's doing. I know that drawing people can be challenging and I think you guys are doing a good job of noticing what's a little bit more fun for you to draw, what feels like you don't want to work on it for too long before you get tired. Uh, yes, Wyatt. I'm talking to Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Oh, you're talking to Mickey. <laughs> Is Mickey Mickey. Mickey, where are you, Mickey? Hey, okay. <laughs> my little brother. <laughs> Bye, Mickey. Mickey, Wyatt wanted to say hi real quick. <laughs> if you're still there. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey. There he is. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> oh, okay. See him. Your hair's so long. Um, all right. Oh. So we are in the last couple minutes of class. So I want to check in with everybody, see if anybody has any questions. This is something we're going to work on all throughout the year because drawing people is pretty tough. And so we're just going to keep on working on it in little chunks all throughout the year. Does anybody have any questions from today, from what we went over today? Yes, Wyatt. 
and then olive next. Okay, so I actually wanted to show you something. You yeah. Okay. Okay. So here, here, let me go get it. Right there. Okay. All right. We'll give him one moment. We'll see what he's got to show us. And then you we're gonna pass, next. You can pass me first and then I'm gonna okay. to me. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Olive, yes. Um, I was going to say that um, I'm going to make like a little tie dye. Um, I'm going to make a little tie dye out of um, paint. Once I find one. Oh, wow. Cool. Interesting, Olive. I would love to see it. Would you show it to me when you finish? Or are you already working on it? Um, no. Okay. I would I... Right. Um. Well, Olive, I would love to see it whenever you do your tie-dye. Maybe at the next class, if you finish it, you could bring it. I'd love to see it. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Olive. Let's see. I'm going to go over to Francesca. Yes, Francesca. This is a picture of me with my mom. Oh, my gosh. Wow, Francesca, that's really cool. I love that. Um, you know what, guys, before we finish up here, would you all mind showing, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you have something you worked on today that you'd like to show me, would you go ahead and hold it up? And I'm just gonna get a quick screenshot here. Show me either what you worked on today or if there's somebody, something else that you wanna show me. You can go ahead and hold it up there. Let's see it. Wow, good, keep holding it up there. Keep holding it up there. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my gosh, you guys worked so hard today. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop our recording.